guys, it's me, Allie, and you're watching my channel, and today we're going summer shopping. We just finalized a summer trip that we're going on, and I definitely need some new pieces for that. And just for summer in general, I just did a bunch of spring cleaning. I got rid of, like, four bags, like, garbage bags of clothes, and I gave two of them to my friends and then two of them to my grandma, and she's sending them off to people who need them more than I do. So now I have some space in my closet. Definitely not a ton, but I'm just looking for some good staple pieces for the summer. Nothing in particular, honestly. I'm just wanting to go shop. It is currently a Tuesday at 11.45 in the morning, so basically I left school early again. Are we surprised? Not really. It's my new thing. I cannot make it past 10 in the morning. That's like third period for me, and past that point, I'm not actually there. I'm just counting down the minutes. So I left, and now we're gonna go to the mall. Not only am I gonna be doing some in-person shopping, but I also have some things I need to order online because the trip that we just finalized, it's not as far as we think in our head it's pretty close actually so we need to get shopping and i need to help her a lot so that's why she's coming along today she ordered so much stuff off of zara didn't like any of it so Everything she needs my input by. it's a very fun trip but it's somewhere that we've never ever been and it's somewhere that we've always wanted to go and there's multiple places it's a whole thing you guys can guess down below but we're not revealing where we're going until we're going until we're there pretty much so you guys can get all your guesses we're not going to tell you guys until we're there. So I'm gonna be doing in person, online, and we might go thrifting, we might go to Goodwill if we have time, but let's go. Second time on the interstate, but I have to learn how to get to the mall because I have a shopping addiction, so I'm not spending 30 minutes to get to the mall. I can do it in 10, but that means I have to get on the interstate. So I've been a little bit better with my speed. I can actually speed now. 67, 68. Oh my God, 69. I'm gonna stop it. <laughs> it's 70 the limit. I know. Uriel was going 80. All right, guys, we made it to the mall. I have a personal photographer, Me. videographer. I'm just gonna get followed around. I'm just kidding. I'm leaving her. I cannot shop with people. That's the one thing. I know people. I can't shop with anybody. Doesn't matter who you are. Like Uriel, he's like a booger, and I'm like, please. Don't go say that. Else. Everybody is. They like to follow me around when I'm shopping. I have to have my own space. So I'm gonna leave her. Not so ugly. Not so big, Alison. Alison, no, next. All right, here's the first outfit. This is a size large. I think it might be a little big, but these shorts are definitely too big. I really like this top though, with like a pair of jeans, I feel like it's definitely the vibe of where we're going. I'm looking for pieces that I'm gonna wear more than just on this trip. So I'm thinking I'm gonna say no to this dress because it's like a color that I wouldn't wear all the time. Like a white dress, I feel like I'd wear a lot more. So no to her. I'm kind of obsessed with this one. It looks so cute and it matches the vibe literally perfectly. No. It could have been so cute if it wasn't a robber. I look like a toddler. These are all the same, just different colors. nose yes and i might come back for her i just have to make up my mind so not today but maybe another day these linen pants are very much the vibe but i'm not sure if i want these because they're very like elegant looking not super casual but they're really cute
These are a little big, they're a size medium. They're just a bit long. has his stays where it has such good clothes and today is that day all right guys finished at the mall literally the one day where i have limited time i'm not really looking for anything i almost didn't come because i was like i don't really even know what i have in mind to get i found so much good stuff like i would have kept shopping but we have no time because i have to go get my nails done i'm gonna give you guys a haul after my nails because there's a lot of good things and i feel like you guys are probably gonna get the vibe of where we're going based off the things that i'm buying and then we're gonna order all the stuff from online today as well time for a haul i just got back from getting my nails done i went with blue because i love this royal blue color and i'm obsessed with this design i've gotten it way too many times so we got it again i'm gonna give you guys a haul and then we're gonna order some things online as well i don't think i've had such a successful like mall day in such a long time every store that i went into had like the clothing that i have on my pinterest board for this trip i swear everything was just the vibe like i don't know perfect shopping trip but i had not that much time but i think i got a good amount of pieces that i feel like will be staples for this trip first we got urban outfitters i was in there for so long i was in there for an hour i only had two hours to shop an hour of it was at urban outfitters i have never found so many good things at urban outfitters ever like i usually go in there and maybe like one thing but i'm too lazy to even try it on i literally found like 20 things but at the same time, Urban is really expensive. I would have walked away with more if it wasn't so expensive. So I only walked out with two things. $79 for two pieces. So let me show you. So out of the three tops of the same style, I went with this one because the color palette for this trip is like neutrals, the royal blue, like very light colors. And I want really breathable clothing because where we're going is really, really hot. I love flowy tops. And this one has like lace on it too. It's so cute. So we picked this one out of the three. I think that was a really good choice because I got one similar to the white one in another store. And I think the orange one would definitely just be like a one-time outfit where this, I could see myself wearing it a ton. I got a size large, which isn't what I usually grab for, but they only had the three that I picked out and they were all in size large. So I just had a work with what i had it still fits pretty well all i have to do is adjust the straps all the way to the top because my shoulders everything just slips off of them so i always have to adjust my tops anyways the next thing is this pair of shorts and everything that i bought today i kind of just had like a photo pop in my head of like what i could wear it with where i would be like the location and everything and these shorts just give me one of the places that we're going to on the beach with this in the background and this in the background and like a really fun bikini so these are definitely gonna come with me. So these are they. I don't really know how to describe them. They kind of just drape in the front. They're very low-waisted and they give exactly what I wanted them to give. When I saw them in store, I was like, hmm. And when I first tried them on, I wasn't completely convinced because they're a bit see-through and I've gotten shorts from Urban before and I didn't love them. So I was a little bit hesitant, but I could just picture myself somewhere with these and I was like, okay, I have to. So we got them, $79 for these two pieces. That's urban for you. I really do like both of these a lot and I can definitely picture myself wearing them on this trip. So we had to do it. Next we got H&M. I loved the finds from here. I did not expect them to be so good because usually when you go into H&M, it's like a hair or miss. Some things are like sheen quality and then other things are like really good quality. It just really depends on what you grab for. But I really liked the purchases I made today. They are really, really cute and all the vibe of where we're going, but also pieces that I can wear a lot at home as well. Both of these I can style in a million different ways along with everything that I bought. I feel like it's just so versatile that I can wear it on the trip that we're going on, but then I can come back and wear it so many different ways. Also, I told myself that I'm not gonna wear any of this until the trip because before Hawaii, I bought a bunch of clothes and then I wore it before we went. And then it was kind of just like, oh, we've seen you in that before. But this time it's such a fun place that I wanted to just be like, Boom, 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 new outfits, new wardrobe, new location, new everything. We're gonna put them in a bag and keep them somewhere where I will not be wearing them because I know that if I put it in my closet, I'll be grabbing for it this weekend. So let me show you what I got from H&M. Here I spent $143. I did not expect it to be that much because in my mind, H&M's like $15, $10, but I did get quite a bit. So it kind of makes sense. 
Nothing was over, oh wait. One thing was $35 and then everything else was not over 20. But everything's so cute. So we're gonna just justify it. This is what was $35. This is my new white mini skirt. I'm really excited about her because I have one from Brandy and I wear it so, so, so much. And I just wanted a new one because that one has a bunch of stains on it and I've worn it like too many times. This one is a lot thinner also, which is good for where we're going because it's supposed to be really, really hot. She has some lace down her and I think it's so adorable and it just goes perfectly with the vibe, okay? Like this all fits a vibe. It could be styled with so many different things like over a bikini with a tank top, literally so many different ways, not just for this trip, but when I come home, I've worn my one from Brandy so many different times. It's bad. So this was $35, which I don't know how much the one from Brandy was, but I think this is so cute. Then we got this little top. I don't really know why I got this one. I was just surprised on how well it fit me because I, it kind of looked like a corset, right? Like for me, this is a corset-ish, whatever. But then I was just surprised on how well it fit me. And I thought I could definitely style this this summer, not just for the trip, but like a little party. Cause I will be going to a party this summer. It's on my bucket list. And I, even if I go for like two minutes, we will be experiencing one. So I can wear this little top, be like every other chick there and a little corset. I don't even know if this is a corset, but she kind of gave me the vibes of a corset. So we got her. I think she's really cute. And with like low-waisted jeans, I feel like she'd just be really, really cute. So we got her. I love H&M's Basics. I got a bunch of their tank tops last time I went there. And this one is laced, which I feel like, once again, like the color palette is like blue, whites, neutrals, and this is perfect. And the little lace just gives it such a detail. And the little bow, are you kidding? With the white skirt, I just think it's so cute for like going out to breakfast or just a little casual outfit. I think it's just adorable and could be worn a billion different ways. Shorts, jeans, skirt, sweatpants, literally anything. I think it's so cute and just super breathable. And it was 12 bucks, so love her. And now for swimsuits. Honestly, they were really good at H&M. If you're looking for some good swimsuits, go over there. They have so many different styles. They were $20 a piece, but that's so much better than what these Instagram pages are charging for like $60 a top, $60 a bottom. I got two whole sets for the price of one of those. So I really like them. And the quality is really nice. First, I got this little white one because I hate when white swimsuits, you can like see your like nips or like down there like when they're just really showy so this one's textured so that you won't be able to see anything hopefully i was looking for a plain white swimsuit so this one is perfect i think the texture will be able to hide things very well but just a white basic swimsuit it has a lot of coverage so that is good and then we got this one she's so colorful but she's so cute on. This one's a bit tinier, but that's okay. We like it cheeky. The sides have a little bit of detailing and it's like this orange pink ombre. And then the top, she is so flattering. She has like these little knots right here and she holds them so well. So when I tried this one on, I was like, okay, we're getting her. So that's everything I got. However, I really, really liked the pair of linen pants that I tried on, but they were just way too long. So I went out to find a small because they were a medium and they obviously didn't have a small. So I'm gonna order them online. Originally, I was gonna buy some from Zara, but good thing I tried those ones on today because those are $27 and the Zara ones are 70. So I'm gonna order the H&M ones instead of the Zara ones. And now for Paxson, just like Urban, I usually do not find that much stuff in Paxson that I like. Cause it's usually just like a hit or miss. Like it depends on when they put out new stuff. And today was such a hit, bro. There were so many new things. Everything was so cute and exactly the vibe I was going for. So we got a couple things. Everything was a total of $90. They had so many cute pattern swimsuits that were exactly what I was looking for. However, Paxson swimsuits, especially the tops, are like microscopic. I swear they're like this much fabric and that's not going to fit my chest. I was going to try some on, but then I was like, that's such a waste of time. I literally had like 20 minutes. So we went with some one pieces. I love the white one I tried on. It was so pretty, but it just wasn't realistic because... I don't like having to like adjust my swimsuit or be having to be worrying about it every two seconds. So I did not go with it, but it was so cute. But I did go with this blue one piece. I've been looking for a really cute one piece for a while. That's not like grandma-ish, like cute one piece. And this one, it's so cute. It has a little cutout in the stomach area and it just looks like mature. She's just so cute on and I feel like this will be perfect on a boat in one of the locations. I just, I love it. It's all getting pictured in my head right now. I can see the Instagram pictures and you guys, it's gonna look so good. So I got her, she was 50 bucks. 
quite a bit, but I'm hoping that I put her to good use. Then I got this little brandy tank top. This is similar to the one that I was going to get at Urban, but good thing I didn't because I got this one. She was already in my brandy cart. I was going to order her now, but I found her in store, so I got it. I love this style of the brandy top. It's just so cute, and it really is one size fits all because I have like double Ds, and they fit, so... I don't know how it fits A's, but it fits D's, so I don't know. She fits so cute. I can just see myself in so many places with this, here at home, on vacation. She's going to come with me everywhere. I love these little petite like tank tops that are like flowy. They're just so cute, and I love styling them. Then we got another little white top. White clothing is just my favorite. I love wearing it because I just like love neutrals. So I had to go with this one. I can picture it with like a little black mini skirt in a very special location. It ties in the back like a little bow and I could just picture myself with a little black mini skirt. I don't love mini skirts because like I don't love things like hanging out like my butt. But I will, I'll let my dislike for them slide because like this with a little black mini skirt would be so adorable. So that's everything I got at the mall. However, we have so many things to order online. So we're going to do that now i put everything into this bag so that i will not be grabbing for it i do not want to wear any of it till this trip we have one month till we go so i just have to put these off for a month and then wear them in the prettiest locations all right to finish it off we're gonna buy some things online i've had all these in my cart for over a week now i don't know what it is but buying online is not as easy for me as buying in store because in store i'm just like beep and it's like done but online I need to like fill out the information and just like it's more of a process and it feels like I'm actually spending money. So I don't like shopping online and I always put it off a lot. Like I'll have things in my cart for like two weeks. So I really need to order them because they're all super cute and like crucial for this vacation. I already have a notes thing in my app talking about each outfit, when I'm going to wear it, what location. So I really, really need to order them. So we're going to do that now. Okay, no excuses. We're going to just order them. Starting off with Zara. Originally I had so many things in my cart, but I think I've narrowed it down to two things, maybe just one. I honestly don't even think I want this top. Is this cute? Like I know it's cute, but like <sighs> this is what it is about online shopping. Like I don't know if I should buy it. It's literally $27, but it's cute and Anna still will wear it. Like I know it's super cute, but like I can't make myself buy it. It's like $27. The only issue is, like, what bra would I wear with it? Because it's very slim straps. I need a picture of myself. I can wear these with, like, the white linen pants from H&M. I don't know what it is. I just can't purchase it. This is the other piece from Zara. It's this little mini skirt. It's in, like, this teal blue and green color. It's so freaking cute. I can see myself wearing, like, this exact same outfit. Just, like, a little white tank top with this skirt. And I love maxi skirts at the moment. They're my favorite. Maxi dresses, I like, but not as much as skirts because I love wearing them with little tops. So definitely going to get this. I just feel like it's perfect for one of the locations. Don't know exactly which one yet because it's a lot going on and it's not as neutral as my other outfits. So I'm not sure where yet, but I can definitely see myself wearing it. And also just at home, such a fun statement piece. Both of these together would come out to $97. Don't know if I want to purchase it. So we're going to come back to her. Because I just need to decide if I want the yellow one. This is another one where I like, I don't know if I want to purchase these. Next we got Princess Polly. Ugh! I can't. Two of the pieces are a bikini top and bottom. And then we have a black mini dress. The total is $107. This is the bikini. It's like light yellow with pink flowers on it. It's very skinny strapped. And also the bottoms are very skinny. So I don't know how I would love this on me. The top and bottom are each $26, which isn't terrible, but I don't know. Then this is the black mini dress. I'm leaning towards no because of how tiny the top part of it is. Like, my chest is not fitting in there. So we're definitely going to remove her. She was $55, so we're going to get her out of my cart. I'm ordering so many swimsuits off of Sheen. So I don't know if this is absolutely necessary. So for Hawaii, I bought a lot of like name brand clothing pieces like Free People and things like that. I can't really remember, but I know that I spent quite a bit of money for Hawaii and I'm trying to get more with less money this time around because we're going for double the amount of time. So I'm not going to be spending thousands on clothing for this trip alone. So I'm trying to find pieces that are cheaper. Yeah, pretty much. This site is called Emoli. Not really sure. I looked it up on TikTok and it is for real. So we're going to order from there. First thing is this little dress. 
for the first place that we're going to and I just think it's so cute. I was going to order this actually for my 16th birthday party, but I never even had that. And they have it on this website for $31. I know it's not like the original one because I've seen it on so many different websites, but we're getting her anyways. I don't know if I should get a small or a medium. I think it is so freaking cute. Quality looks really good in the pictures. And I'm not sure if it's going to look that good in real life. It's $21, and I could just picture myself wearing this with a black mini skirt. So I think I'm going to go for it, but I just can't bring myself to buy it. This is what I mean. Like, online shopping is so much harder. Like, I can't just click a button. All right, the next one is Shirley. Shirley? This is her, and I have three things in my cart for a total of $122. It is three dresses. Two of them are maxi dresses. Here's the first one. As I said before, I just love white clothing because it can just go with any background. It looks so good. And this one I just think is super fun because it has the cutouts, which I love cutout dresses, but also has like the sleeves. I think it's really cool and like it has small details, which I feel like will look really good. Then we have this yellow dress, which I think is so cute. I've been really liking yellow recently and it's another maxi dress, which I feel like are just good for like dinner outfits or just walking around. So I really, really like her and she's like not too much. So the last place is Sheen. I know that it's so bad to shop from there, but I just don't feel like spending so much money for swimsuits, you know? Like it's just a little piece of fabric and I'm not trying to spend $100 per swimsuit. We got 39 things for a total of $273, but I will be using a discount code for 20% off. I'm going to get this little black mini skirt to go with some of the outfits that I bought. So there is a lot of things. I can't bring myself to buy it. I'm going to, okay? I'm going to. I'm going to tonight. Thanks for coming along for my little shopping today. Let me know your guys' summer plans right down below and your guesses on where we are going. There's so much fun summer content coming, so just stay tuned. The month of May, June, and July. Summer break at the end of May, so stay tuned for all the fun content. And I cannot wait to show you guys where we are going. Just stay tuned. And you guys can leave your guesses, but we will not be announcing anything until we're pretty much on the trip. So really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.